Yo, what is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. I had one of my favorite burger places. It's called Red Robin. I don't know if you guys have one by where you're at, but as you may or may not have already seen in the previous video, we went ahead and visited H&M uh, and went and checked out their newest collection to release as all these companies are releasing or rolling out uh, their spring summer collections, similarly to what we saw from Fear of God Essentials. Uh, today, I wanted to go over to Uniqlo. So that's essentially what we're gonna be doing for today's video. We've been to Uniqlo quite a few times, so it's no stranger to the channel. And if you guys like this style of content, please be sure to let me know by liking today the video subscribing to the channel of course and commenting down below what store you'd like or that you just like this style of video and I'll keep it going as long as you guys like the videos I'll keep it going breakfast is served yes I didn't miss speak my first meal of the day so I did want to open up and discuss a topic one of you guys uh, asked me hmm Man, I'm in my low 20s, I'm in college. I don't know fully what I want to do career-wise. You know, just kind of the anxiety and the pressure that comes along with that. And I went ahead and proceeded to expound on the topic of doing what you enjoy. And I know this is such a cliche answer. I have a degree. I did the whole uh, four-year university thing. I went to UC Santa Cruz. I studied uh, biology, human biology, um, heavy, heavy in genetics. And I enjoyed it. I genuinely loved it. So I don't regret it. And I think college is such a useful tool. There's invaluable uh, lessons to, uh, to take away from college. But you're not exactly at such a low point. You feel like college isn't for you or uh, you don't have the funds to do so at the moment. If you can learn to work hard and be dedicated to your craft, uh, you're gonna be okay. I know that's not exactly the most politically correct thing to say because everybody's supposed to go to college, right? That's kind of like how we've been kind of trained to think. There's still so much hope and you have such a bright future as long as you're willing to work hard and be good at what you're doing. And you know, like we kind of talked about you know, career paths and stuff like that and full transparency. I changed majors multiple times and ultimately changing multiple majors, settling with one and doing work that has literally nothing to do with my major. If I was to like go back in time and tell my younger self who was always nervous, worried about like where my finances would come from, how I was gonna be able to survive um, in a world where it seems like everybody's so, so great at what they do. I would say this, everybody's figuring things out. Generally speaking, people are learning on the fly and the human spirit is a resilient thing and that same human spirit is inside of you. Try things, take risks, make sure they're calculated risks, but by all means, try new things. Eventually, you're gonna land upon something that you are naturally gifted at or that you genuinely enjoy. And either one of those paths can result in creating a future for yourself and sustainability. So long as you hone in on that craft and you're willing to work at it and be excellent at it. Yeah, I felt like this was necessary to share because I know a lot of you guys, like based on analytics, are in your late teens to early 20s. But yeah, I hope that's encouraging to young fellows out there. And I want you to know that you are more than capable and you can do really, really great things if you're willing to, you know, Put your nose down and just work at whatever sphere you decide to follow. And yeah, let me get back to my burger here. You guys ever feel like, you know, you do something on a consistent basis and like you just have that thought in your mind. Why do I do this to myself? Now what seemed like a really great idea in the moment ended up turning into a uh, quite the costly decision because Man, I got really tired just now. Like, I don't know if you guys get that feeling after you break a fast or you eat like a hefty meal. Just just don't be that guy. You know, don't don't be like me. Don't be like me. Like I feel so slow now. All right, let's go. Looks like spring. It's definitely spring over at Uniqlo. All the vibrant colors. Looks so nice. That's a nice coach's jacket. Got the uh, color of spring 2022, the blues and the denim color and the tans. Definitely try it on. It's got like a mesh lining. It's 50 bucks. You guys saw in a prior video, I uh, lived on these uh, cropped crew necks in the women's section. All right, so it looks like they made some adjustments and cropped it even more. So I think, I think we're gonna have to wear 
the one that's actually made for us because a good idea to add shorts come springtime. All right, so we're here in the fitting room, bought the coach's jacket, shorts, a couple of these crew necks, and then a long sleeve shirt. All right, so here is the drop shoulder pocket tee. Uh, it does fit pretty true. Wow, this coach's jacket is so nice. I'm not gonna lie, if I didn't have a package at home with the new Fear God one, I definitely consider picking this one up. So here are those new crewnecks that I just released. They fit pretty snug, I'm not gonna lie, this is a medium here, but the color and the wash on these boys are really, really great. I'm gonna be honest, uh, inventory seems to be pretty sparse. Uh, the Uniqlo U-Line actually isn't here in store, and that's really what I came here to do and to go check out. So I might go ahead and change this video to Zara and then come back around once your Nicolo U stuff gets here because that's really what I wanted to show you guys. So unfortunately, we're going to have to uh, to go to another store. There was really too, too much over at Nicolo. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and head over to Abercrombie uh, just because that's a place that a lot of people have been telling me to go ahead and check out. So, Go ahead and try that spot to see if we can find anywhere cool or anything cool. This is not the same Evercommon fish I remember. It's like so bright. Mine's are like Brandy Melville in here or something. They even have licensed NBA stuff. Got the Wash Bulls hoodie, basketball shorts. I'm gonna have to try these on too. They're like above the knee. Honestly, I'm pleasantly surprised at the stuff that they have here. Everything's got like new different proportions, oversized stuff, crop stuff. I had no idea. There's a lot of good stuff at this store. How's this bomber too? Oh my gosh. Crinkly nylon bombers. Dude, this is giving me like on my land door vibes. The oversized hoodie, really, really nice color too. Dang, dude, the Colombian fish really, really doing like a rebranding. I'm, I'm shocked. How have I not known of this? Found this work jacket, which is honestly pretty gas. I cannot believe this is at Amber Crombie and Fitch. Comes in washed black. What? See that for my size. So we made our way to the fitting room here at Amber Crombie and Fish. I have to say, I'm pleasantly surprised. This is so so nice. Like this whole rebranding has been a total success. A lot of great garments. Found a bunch. Um, look at this suite of a fitting room. Like, this is like the cosmopolitan of shopping. But... Alright, so first item, trying on these basketball shorts. And for my short self, this is still too short. So I think this is gonna have to be a no go, boys. Here's the denim. I feel like just a little bit too baggy. But it's not a bad looking pair of denim. If you're looking for like. I don't know, a baggier version of like a 501. That'd be worth giving a look. What is it, a 570? I don't even remember. But um, I did bring a straight fit in there, so we'll try these. All right, so here's what they call their sh Ooh, that's not good. Like a 505, but maybe a little bit more taper than that. Like it's pretty tight here at the calf. Okay, Amber Crombie. I'm not mad at this piece. It is really nice. Got a nice modern cut. Man, this hoodie is so excellent. Like from like the lines to the seams to the soft quality of the fleece. If this crest just stayed there and didn't say Amber Common Fish right there. I don't know, man. This could definitely be a really dope hoodie. It's It's got all the makings for it. I just took this back here because honestly, my uh, 2016 self would have flipped over this bomber. Like this is literally the perfect alternative to the fourth collection bomber. It's cropped, boxy, oversized, has the same details. Like if it's just like this. While we're here, just do a quick 
good in the yard. Just for Lots of very flowy things, like a rayon shirts and stuff. Yeah, they definitely deserve their own video. Man, this looks like it fits really well. Okay, I'll try you on. So here is that varsity. This is small. Usually stuff here at Zara fits very, very small. Wow! This is really heavy. This kind of gives me Fear of God vibes, like fifth collection. Very nice. All right, guys, so just got done here at the mall, heading home now. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I ended up purchasing, and I'm getting so many looks right now. But I'll just pretend that they're not watching. Um, got a couple things here. Really looking forward to showing you guys today's haul and styling it. You guys can tell me if this place is worth your hard-earned money. All right, and we are back, guys. And I did want to go over everything I did end up purchasing from Uniqlo. Uh, I actually just ended up getting essentials. I got a couple just plain white t-shirts, very comfortable. And I actually got some socks to go with like my loafers. First item here is this knit polo. I felt like this was like super appropriate uh, for the time right now. It's starting to get a little bit more sunny, but it's not hot per se. And so this is gonna be a nice piece just because uh, it's airy, it's breathable, and I can wear it open when it does warm up. And at $55, I felt like that was a pretty fair ask. Oh, and if this stuff is available online, I will provide links below in the description for sizing. I did go for a size medium. Uh, I'm 5'7 and weigh about 160 pounds. So. For the second and final piece from Amber Crombie, I got this oversized overshirt. Uh, the inner lining is nylon, it has a little bit of insulation, and the outer shell is 100% wool. But probably my favorite part about this piece is that it is cropped. Uh, again, proportions and looks and styles from Amber Crombie that weren't really there before. I've always kind of thought of Amber Crombie as like, you know, just like that run of the mill American style, that American vintage style. but. Uh, they're bringing in different uh, like cuts and silhouettes, which I do appreciate. All right, and so for the last two pieces of today's haul, they're from Zara. Uh, I did go ahead and hang them already because I did want to demonstrate and show you guys how to hang a knit. And uh, I hang them just like pants. I fold them in half and hang them like pants just because knit tends to stretch out and deform. But yes, we have here a mustard colored cardigan. And this one is comprised of wool and what I believe is a blend of elastin because it does have a good level of uh, stretchability or elasticity. Uh, this piece is fire. This is so, so good in my opinion. Uh, if it was cropped, I think that would make it just out of this world good. But outside of that, the way it fits, the way it falls, and the fabric that they use is very, very fire. And I love the color. Um, I've always been a huge fan of mustard, especially if like it's on the correct piece. And so, yeah, I feel like this one was definitely a go at a price of 70 bucks. Uh, you really can't go wrong. I did go with a size medium. And again, feel free to use me for reference, 5'7", 160 pounds. All right, and so this is the last piece from today's haul. And this is probably one of those situations where it's like save the best for last because yeah this one is my favorite like i'm so stoked on this jacket the unique color scheme that uh they opted for this is such a fire jacket in my opinion you have the like the tannish cream and it goes to uh, a deeper taupe ish brown and then of course the main color which is like a teal uh, for this one i did take a size medium and uh, at a price point of, I think it was 50 or 60 bucks, uh, you can't go wrong. I, I took the tag off already because I wore it. Uh, I just really like this jacket that much. And I think you guys will too. But overall, very fire piece in my opinion. You guys let me know what you guys thought of my new acquisitions. I thought it was a pretty successful day, kind of all over the place, but I'm not mad about it at all. If you do enjoy these shopping style of vlogs and hauls, uh, please let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. You guys know uh, it helps so much and also communicates to me uh, to keep the content coming essentially. Also comment down below uh, if you do enjoy this style, because again, that's like probably the best way to let me know. Uh, to make this exact kind of video. Last, be sure to subscribe to the channel, especially if you enjoy sneakers, streetwear, um, 
fashion, all that good stuff. That's pretty much what I do here on the channel. I just have a lot of fun uh, with this whole thing and uh, I get to make content for you as a product of it. And it's really, really awesome. And so, yeah, I would love if you'd consider sticking around and we're almost at 100K. It's been a long time coming. And uh, that's definitely a milestone that I would love to hit at some point. Anyways, I feel like this conclusion is going way too long. So I'll just go ahead and end it here. Guys, thank you so much for the continued support. It is insanely humbling that you come back to the channel and support the channel, watch the videos. It's a true privilege of mine to make content for you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace and be blessed.